Hello everyone and welcome to another tutorial for this data entry operation chapter number 10 which is introduction to internet and this chapter is only for grade 12 which is senior secondary code number 336. So let us learn the important points required to study in this examination. There is nothing important related to practical over here. Only the exam and the practical that will be asked to you for this question. This lesson is only writing the answers to some questions, which is for 10 marks. Mixture of the whole lessons actually in the data entry. Whereas in practical, nothing. And theoretically, obviously, you need to know. So what is an internet? The internet is simply also known as the net is a worldwide network of computer networks. That's it. No need to study more. It's a complete network of computers. Then application of internet. What does the internet help you to do? It allows you to exchange messages over using an email. It transfers the files and softwares. They browse through information of any topic on the net. Like whatever you need, you go to google.com and find out everything. So all these are different examples that you have over here. Learn any four. Learn minimum four because two marks questions can be asked. Now, how do you get an internet connection on your computer? You can get an internet connection on your computer either by contacting the service provider, the so internet service provider, which is ISP. So internet service providers are the people like Telenor, you have Vodafone, Airtel, all these people are the ones who are going to get you this thing. Then. Now, some another important thing is now you get an internet connection and basically what are the following types of internet connection? These three points, you can make it short and study through dial up connection, through a lease line or through broadband. These are three ways through which you can get no need to study more definition about it. Just these three words are important. Then types of internet connection that we have are dial up, ISDN, lease line and DSL. Now let us learn one by one. What is it? A dial up connection is a connection in which the internet service provider, whoever it is, who is providing you the internet service, gives you a phone number. Now, you by using that particular phone number, by, by dialing it, you actually get an internet connection on your system. This is very simple. Nothing need to be learned more. An ISDN, which is Integrated Service Digital Network, is nothing but a same like a dial up connection in which you use actually the telephone lines. So basically you have a telephone set. Its wire is removed and put into your laptop or into your computer and the internet switches on like that. But at that moment, internet speed is a bit slower. And second thing, you will not be able to make calls because computer doesn't have call system, right? So this was the like way back we used to be using the how the internet evolved actually. Later, we found out with something called as lease line where we have a proper line for an internet connection for your laptop or for your uh, computer so that the telephone works also at one time and same time you have an internet connection also working okay it's a 24 hours or 24 7 day period of internet working with a full fast access known as LAN which is local area network then DSL which is digital subscriber line or dedicated service line broadband connection which is a high speed type of an internet connection which allows you simultaneously to use internet and at the same time use telephone calls also now how does the internet system work Basically, we all know it's a network of computers which are present over here. So basically, because of this network of computers, what happens is that the web page when transferred over the internet or when you ask for any queries or anything inside internet, the, of the information is broken down into same sized pieces called packets. When it is broken into small pieces and packets and then sent over all over the world through different networks of computer, a header is added to each packet. It's just like you have a big food and you pick the food into small small packets seal it and put a label so like that it is labeling and done and sent from one computer to another one computer to another till it reaches a proper destination once it reaches to that places the all of these packets are one by one examined check and and if there is any packet missing it asks for a refresh or a reload by which the missing packet comes back to that place again and finally the particular computer where this information could be found what you're looking for reaches a full question is asked and with the answer you get that reply back on your computer screen after within few seconds okay so how quick is this process of getting this thing then we have something called as internet uh, software the internet has a software called transmission control protocol or internet protocol which is responsible for receiving and sending and checking the packets it is also known as the glue of the internet now, some frequently learned uh, terms which are used in internet are www, which is World Wide Web, a web server, hyperlink, HTML, web page, and then website or URL. All these you just need to learn one one line of definition for each. What's a World Wide Web? Simply known as collection of electronic documents. That's it. Web server is the computer that stores the web pages. 
Hyperlink is nothing but the element of electronic document that links another place in the same document. HTML is a language that consists of certain keywords called tags. Web page, a web page such as the one which you're looking right now, it's a web page, for example. And then a website is a website where you have all type of information related to a particular company or anything. And a custom uniform resource locator, which is URL, is every page of the website has a unique address. That unique address is known as URL. Just like, for example, if we have learnthenet.com. So learnthenet.com is called the domain name. HTTP is the hypertext transfer. English and glossary is the directory. And URL is the file name. Now, the internet IP address, every, every internet connection has an IP address. An IP address is just the address where it is internet is located. And that is in the form of three digit numbers. An example is such. A domain name is the unique name given to every website so that you know how to recognize it. Now, understanding the internet address, if we have the NIOS website, which is www.nios.com or .in. Uh, so here you have www as the worldwide, NIOS as the host computer or the domain name. AC refers to academic and in the country of location, which is India. Similarly, we have other organizational domain and the purpose like AC stands for academic, com, commercial entities, EDU, education, gov for government and so on. Geography, according to some websites, they have an ending like AI in India, JP like Japan, US like United States, etc. Now, what is a browser? A web browser. A web browser is nothing but a software or a program that allows you to access internet. So Google Chrome, Firefox, Internet Explorer, all these are examples of a browser where you can access to different types of web pages. Then Microsoft Internet Explorer, that is the one which you're studying. Obviously, what does it look? It has a navigation bar where we type actually the address, a navigation bar where we go back and everything, address bar where we type the address and menu to do some type of things. Scroll bar up and down and the web page what is open. Then saving a web page is very simple. Just right click and save as. Downloading, you just have an option to download over there or the button and you simply download it over there. And then internet service engines so search engines what are search engines since you are using chrome internet explorer or firefox as a browser software to open the internet in that you will type a website to find for things like google.com yahoo.com these are all search engines which allows you to search for particular information then we are having Electronic mail, it is the method of sending email. We are using most commonly Yahoo nowadays. And the way of sending and receiving messages are also given over here. And what else do you find over here is nothing but simple mail where you type the person's email ID. You prepare an email ID actually. You have something called as compose where you compose and type out your letter or attach header, body of the email, and then the email address of a person. So basically you look here to whom you're sending. CC is actually a second copy that you want to send to a carbon copy, a second copy that you want to send to some person. And BCC, a blank carbon copy, which you are sending to some third person or a fourth person. But the first two person who is the two and this carbon copy, they don't know that to whom also you have sent. So it is a message which is sent secretly to somebody else also without the knowing of two or CC. Then we have just simply file transfer protocol. It's a uh, commonly used protocol for exchanging files over the network and support the TCP or IP protocol internet. And FTP is used for sharing files, remote computers, and to transfer data. This is the only minimum thing that you need to study over. Looks like a little bit difficult, but most of the questions in the grade 12 examination for fill in the blanks question, which is for five marks comes from here. So better learn the true and false, do the reading of the textbook carefully, go through all the fill in the blanks and the terminal questions so that you are able to answer all this correctly and properly. So this was all the chapters that was important for senior secondary and secondary. Hope it is useful to you and you people can score good marks in your practical and as well as your theoretical. Thank you.